This is Abuja. Welcome to Abuja. I thought to myself, why haven't I visited the capital city of my country, Nigeria? I am Nigerian, haven't stayed in Lagos all my life, visited some cities in Nigeria and different cities in Africa. But why not Abuja? Even though we have been promoting Abuja since we created this channel based on others' experience. And this comment I got from one of my Kenyan videos got me thinking. Now, the time has come for me to forge my path and unveil the wonders of the vibrant city of Abuja. Despite prevailing security concerns, as at the time of my travel to Abuja, my spirit of adventure knows no bounds. As I prepare to immerse myself in the richness of Abuja's history, people, culture, and infrastructure, join me as I defy expectations, embrace the unknown, and unlock the essence of Abuja. In this video, I will be sharing my first experience and impressions of Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share for more awesome content. The roads in Abuja, Nigeria are exceptional and world class. I believe that one effective way to evaluate the progress of a city or country is by looking at the condition of the roads connecting the airport to the city center. The 10 lane expressway and the network of roads in Abuja definitely rank among the best in Africa. I was genuinely stunned by the well-structured roads. The distance between the expressway and the buildings is considerable. Echoing what my friend said, Abuja was built from Lagos State's past mistakes. For those who might not know, Lagos served as Nigeria's capital from 1914 to 1991. However, due to its congestion and lack of proper planning, the government sought a new planned capital city, which led to the selection of Abuja. Its central location, accessibility, favorable weather, and low population density, coupled with abundant land for future expansion, made it the ideal choice, making Abuja Nigeria's first planned city. During my stay, I observed ongoing road construction projects throughout the city, leaving me to speculate on the magnitude of development Abuja will witness in the next decade. The mega structures and organized housing development in Abuja, Nigeria. Abuja left me stunned with its magnificent and futuristic designs. From districts like Central Area, Asokoro, Maitama, Garki, Jabi, Wuse, Guarimpa, these architectural marvels were truly remarkable. The stunning skyscrapers and structures showcased splendid contemporary designs. One iconic site I visited was the Abuja City Gates, constructed in the early 90s to commemorate the relocation of the federal government seat from Lagos to Abuja. This monument serves as a ceremonial entrance to the new capital, warmly welcoming travelers into the city. Additionally, I explored the Abuja National Mox, which fascinated me with its open-door policy for non-Muslims, except during congregational prayers.
Another noteworthy landmark was the National Christian Center, a non-denominational church building that adds to the religious diversity of the city. Each district in Abuja offers an abundance of amenities, ranging from leisure and shopping to business and historical sites. As the vibrant capital of Nigeria, Abuja boasts a thriving real estate market, making it an attractive destination for both investors and residents alike. and the environment. In contrast to the bustling chaos and congestion of Lagos, Nigeria, which penetrates many of its major areas, Abuja stands out for its tranquil, serene atmosphere. In Abuja, one tends to encounter fewer crowds, leading to a sense of orderliness amidst the urban landscape. The city of Abuja emanates a calm and relaxed vibe, with bustling activities primarily concentrated in its business districts and markets. During my exploration and interaction with residents, I found Abuja's populace to be remarkably welcoming and hospitable. A special shout out goes to my friend Anthony, whose channel features exceptional content. Link to his channel is provided in the description box below. Abuja's commitment to greenery is evident, with trees and plants adorning its streets, contributing to an environmentally cautious ambience. I enjoyed the pleasant weather and discovered an abundance of park and recreational facilities scattered across Abuja, notably the Millennium Park spanning 80 acres of lush land offers an ideal setting for quality time to yourself and with loved ones. Additionally, Jabi Lake, a man-made lake, boasts an array of recreational activities including horse riding, boating, picnicking, biking, skating, sporting activities and more. Abuja's landscape is characterized by imposing rocks and eels, a captivating sight to behold. Among its prominent landmark is the iconic monolith, Aso Rock. For prospective visitors, the upcoming opening of Sunshine Water Park, which comes up in March of this year, presents an exciting prospect. Whether it's for leisure or adventure, this forthcoming attraction promises an unforgettable experience. And to clarify, this endorsement is entirely unsponsored. However, if the team at Sunshine Water Park happen to stumble upon this content, come and do the needful. <laughs> In regard to the matter of security, despite prevailing narrative and cautionary advice from both family and friends discouraging me from traveling to Abuja due to apparent security challenges prevalent as at the time of my intended visit, my first hand observations and experience upon arriving in Abuja painted a different picture. Contrary to what I've heard and seen on TV, I found Abuja to be considerably safe. This perspective was largely influenced by the noticeable presence of security personnel stationed at different points across the city. Notably, military personnel diligently conducted stop and search procedures at numerous checkpoints, thereby boosting the overall security infrastructure and instilling a sense of reassurance among residents and visitors alike. Transportation 
to fully absorb oneself in the vibrant atmosphere of Abuja as a visitor, I strongly suggest a dependable car that can efficiently navigate the diverse terrain of the city and enhance your overall experience. When I was in Abuja, I observed that the public transport system in Abuja wasn't efficient. This is quite different from Lagos State, which is known for its exceptional public transportation infrastructure, considered one of the best in Africa. A notable distinction I encountered was the common practice among Abuja cab drivers to accommodate two passengers in the front seats, a practice intensely frowned upon and considered an offense in Lagos. This shows that there is a big difference in transportation quality between the two cities, emphasizing the necessity for better public transport system in Abuja. Despite the evident need for various transportation choice in the capital city, there seems to be a significant lack which adds to the difficulties experienced by both residents and visitors. In Abuja, I experienced less traffic compared to Lagos, making my movements around the city smoother and more enjoyable during my stay. If there's one word I can use to describe the vibrant city of Abuja, it is intentional. And its residents enjoy both a soft life and a stress-free one. Also, I got to know that Abuja is also called the Buj. The Buj, Abuja. Abuja, yeah. the Buj. What? Guys, that's the first time I'm hearing that. The Buj. Yes. The Buj. So Abuja is called the Buj. The Buj. The Buj. <laughs> Abuja or Lagos. If faced with the decision to pick between Lagos and Abuja, which city do I prefer? I definitely will choose Lagos because of its lively vibe and countless opportunities. In Lagos, the bustling energy resonates from the 9-to-5 workers navigating their daily grind to the resilient men and women selling along the roadside. Collectively, we serve as a source of inspiration and motivation for one another. Lagos not only broadens your perspective, but also serves as a quintessential destination for anyone seeking boundless opportunities. As one interviewee pointed out, Lagos represents a system where success is based on individual merits and what you know, while Abuja emphasizes the importance of connections and networks. Abuja will deal with you based on connections. Who do you know? Mm. But Lagos will deal with you on what do you know? What do you know versus who do you know? Exactly. We have a video coming up on the channel asking Abuja residents between Lagos and Abuja which city would they prefer to live in. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Abuja, thank you for having me. See you soon. Also, we'll be exploring other cities in Nigeria. Check out this video if you enjoyed this video.